In this video, we will see how ABB relay to communicate with laptop that is PCM 600. Okay, so if you see here, you can find PCM 600 64 bit, also, you will find here PCM 600 32 bit. Uh, in most cases, our uh, new laptops all 64 bit only, so we have to click this 64 bit, double click or right click and open. Okay. So once open, if there is no any error, it will go inside. If anything error like this, PCM 600 has encountered a problem, SQL server instance is not found. In that case, you have to close this window and in your laptop, in search bar, you have to type SQL. In that, this SQL configuration manager, you have to open. Once open you have to see that configuration see here this sql server is a partner of pcm server here you have all stopped state so you have to run this state for that you have to click this and right click and start once it will establish after this one this status bar completed it will be running okay now see stopped state is moved to running state okay after this you have to close this now again you have to try PCM Center. Okay, right click and open or double click. Okay. Now our PCM will go inside the software. Okay. See here. Now it is getting logging. Okay. So like this, you have to log in. Okay. Once our PCM 600 opened, you have to create a new file. Okay. For that, you have to go for file and a new project. Okay. Once you click the new project, like this, create new project window will open. Here you can type your switchgear number or whatever you need. Here I will type our uh, name, AKL3. Okay. Once you type, you, you can click create window. Okay. Create option. So here you will have a plant structure. Okay. See here. Here plan structure have been opened for creating project file there will be like this in ABB software once our name have been established so then you have to click right click and you have to go to new general and substation okay so again you have to right click substation and you have to go to new general voltage level next voltage level you have to right click and new and general and bay in substation you can rename whatever you need you need for example your substation number is 100 then you can type substation 100 substation yes u b s t a t i o n 100 substation like this you can type your own name okay next voltage level my switchgear voltage is 6.6 .6 kv okay you can write whatever your substation uh, switchgear voltage level here bay this bay is the name of your feeder so i will type my feeder name suppose my feeder num name is km-100-1 20 b like this something whatever so you can type here okay once this is the plant structure here you have you will have four structures like this okay so uh, in abb software there will be four structure you have to create in order to create a project file okay and lastly you have to right click here and you have to go to new and here you will find what are all the relays you have so suppose line differential relay or feeder protection relay motor protection transformer differential voltage protection bus bar protection like this in our case we are communicating motor protection relay that is rem615 so you have to click rem615 okay so now see here so here there is online configuration and offline configuration now we are going to communicate with online okay so we are going to going we are so we are going for online configuration okay so next we have to give next now here iec 61850 is the our protocol so we can proceed next so here you have two options one is front port and rear port that is back port here you have to type your ip address for that you have to go to relay and you have to check what is your ip address 
my ip address is 172 18 150 and 24 okay so this is the ip address uh, whoever want, who, whoever want to communicate the relay he have to check what is the ip address in relay in relay you will find this one in configuration pattern okay you have you can see in configuration so there will be two front port and rear port you have to get the ip address from the rear port okay so next give next so here you see we get error uh, here if you see means this is into this relay is not communicating some error is there what means why it is not communicating means this relay our laptop and relay is not communicating so we have to check why it is not communicating for that in your system you can press uh, window button and R button okay then here you will get the CMD okay here you get you give okay once you give okay here like this it will come so here you can type ping p i n g ping space and your relay ip address your relay ip address is 172.18.150.24 then you press enter here it is telling that general failure something is uh, your laptop and relay is not communicating so you have to go for you have to identify the problem why it is not communicating your laptop with relay for that you have to go in your computer internet option and open network and settings internet settings here you have to go to ethernet here change adapter options in this you find ethernet this is only is communicated other all is into it's not communicated so in this you have to right click and go for property <coughs> and go for properties here you see internet protocol version 4 tcp by ipv4 in this we have to check what is the ip address like that so click this and click ok here properties you have right in this double click it you will find the ip address see here uh, here the ip address and relay ip address is same it should not be same uh, relay ip address should be lower whereas your configuration in laptop ip address should be higher so you can type 200 so your laptop ip address should be more than relay ip address okay now our laptop ip address is 200 and relay ip address is 24 okay so we have to make our uh, laptop ip address more greater okay so i put 200 whereas our relay ip address is only 24 lower okay so i make laptop ip address greater then you just close it everything then now one more time you try whether your laptop is communicating or not for that you just type ping space and your ip address of relay 172. Point 18.150.24 okay now just type enter now see it is just communicating before it shows general failure but now see it is it replace something and it gets some information that is this laptop will check something it gives 4 and it receives 4 and lost is 0 percent like that so now it tells your laptop and relay is communicating okay let us see how it is works okay for that for like this uh, you have to check in ping options okay finish now we'll check whether is uh, our pcm is communicating with relay or not i hope now it will communicate let us check okay now let's uh, one more time you confirm it your ip address is 24 okay next give and just next now it is communicating see here here is into operation cross operation now here it becomes green indicate as ok see now your order code have been detected this is the your order code for your relay here you can see the your relay details ok so here it, this is the product version if anybody asking what is the product version of relay you can you have to say this is 5.0 fp fp1 like that ok so now again proceed for next step next ok 
here you have three configurations MT example standard here you is the it's a brief explanation now we have to download go for default configuration so select standard configuration okay then next actually our IED is working under this uh, edition 2 okay there will be two edition 2 you just proceed with the edition 2 okay now uh, our relay is communicating our uh, PCM is communicating with relay once it this uh, status bar completed here you will find two configurations let us see what it will come here okay so now our PCM software is trying to communicate with laptop to get default informations okay I will explain you what is that so it takes some time one minute or one and a half minute like this so we have to wait for that okay now see here IED configuration and application configuration uh, after REM615 we received two configurations okay so here our setup is complete so you can finish okay now see here we received IED configuration and application configuration in order to see what is IED configuration you have to click this plus symbol so under IED configuration you have hardware configuration control measurements uh, disturbance records like this okay you see measurements under measurements you have many blocks see here if you want to see what is this block right click and parameter setting click parameter setting okay once you click parameter setting here you will come this is power see this is a reactive power uh, this is apparent power this is kilowatt power this is reactive power this is power factor and if you click MP like this here thermal level this is current source L1 L2 L3 this is I naught and this is voltage and this is frequency this is called blocks so if you click any one of it and if you right click and go for application configuration there you will get configuration settings how they are making like this see here this is called uh, blocks and just like configuration in for ABB software it will be looks like this Siemens software or GE software it looks like different okay now see here now we are seeing three phase current measurement so this is CMM XU1 that is this block if you want to see voltage block this is voltage block three phase voltage measurement blocks if you see frequency then you can see frequency block like this you can see everything so this is like this you can see whatever we have this is all under IED configuration if you want to see CT ratio and VT ratio so then you have to click this configuration and go for analog inputs okay there you can find the CT ratio see here now this is current that is three phase CT so right click and go for parameter setting here you can see primary current is 100 and secondary current is 1 and voltage you see here 20 and here 100 so this is also one more C we see uh, VT and this is one more CT this is the core balance CT so this is also 100 by 1 so these all settings is not current settings this is just default settings which is coming from factory the factory people they will send the switch gear right along with switch gear relay will also come that settings will be default so you have to if you want to see what is the current settings you have to read the settings from the relay okay now we still we not read the relay, read the settings from the relay we just do the uh, default settings we downloaded okay we will uh, read the settings later okay before that you can see application configuration under application configuration you will find the protection so here the you, will, you can find the current protections and voltage protections everything for this you have to right click and go for parameter setting here you can see here you will find group 1 setting group 2 setting group 3 setting group 4 and many like this but you have to go for only group 1 that is here see tick mark this is the only our settings so that you can see for all that here also you can only this group 1 setting group 1 is the only option others all nothing okay so you can see everything all settings here you can see the current related settings here you can see voltage related settings 
so for this also you can go for uh, application configuration and you can see the how they are designed everything this blocks how they are how they make the blocks everything okay this is all inputs later we will see about these things in some other video i will show it this is the frequency parameter settings if you go you can see the settings so here also it in setting group 1 is highlighted rest all is not highlighted okay so like this you have to see okay so in other protections you can find some breaker failure settings and if you see in control also you can see some more settings motor stand still like this settings you can still these settings all default settings not current settings if you want to see the actual settings then you have to go and right click the relay and you have to read the relay settings okay if you read only you will get the actual settings from the relay okay so let us see this uh, read option in other video so this is how you have to communicate the relay with your pcm software installed in laptop okay if you have any doubts you just ask me in comments we will let us discuss okay